In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this 3D text effect. I won't be using a video clip in this project because I'm assuming that you will want to create a 3D text effect as a preset that can be added to any of your projects in the future. One thing that you'll notice in my project is that the background color is black. So if you want to use black as your shadow color, you will need to add a shape to your main title. Move to the end of the project and tap the plus sign. Select main title. If you have an image or video clip already in the main track of your project, select overlay title instead. To get started, double tap your main title clip to open it. Tap the plus sign here and select shape. Expand the rectangle so that it covers the entire preview area like this. Then tap on face color and choose a light green. I like to use the lightest one possible. Tap on the screen to dismiss your color picker. Tap the arrow here to close the properties of your shape. Tap these three lines here. Long press and hold. Move the shape up above the text. Now you can see the default text appears over top of the green shape. Expand the properties for your text layer. Double tap your text to open up the text editor. Type the text that you want in your project. Don't worry if you've got the text capitalized properly because when you change the font, the way your text looks may change. When you're done typing your text, tap on done. You can adjust the size and style of your text. Tap here to change the font. Choose a thick, bold font as this will make the text easier to see. Next, increase the size of the text so that it takes up most of the screen. Swipe up to scroll down and look for the shadow color property. By default, it is set to black. Right now, you can't really see it. Bring the opacity for the shadow color all the way up to 100%. Now you can totally see the color. This already makes the text look 3D. Look for the distance property. It's underneath shadow angle. All you need to do to make the text look a bit more 3D is to increase or decrease the distance. Increase the distance until the effect looks good to you. This is what the effect looks like. Here's the first example. And the second example. They look pretty similar. To save this effect as a preset so that you can use it in other projects, tap on the star here. Give your Effect a title, 3D text, tap on the star here to save your effect. Notice that your preset title has been saved in the user title area.
Watch this video recommended by YouTube. This playlist contains more tutorials just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Join me next time.